What's up YouTube, it's your boy General Tony here with a very exciting video today. Today we're going to be doing something new. We're going to be bringing wizards with Valkyries, chucking in those barbarians as tanks and the wall breakers are always coming along because they're beautiful. So we're doing something old and something new today guys. We've got the wizards, we always use them. We hardly ever use the Valkyries. As you know from my previous videos, if you subscribe to me, I love Valkyries. They're amazing, they're insane troops, they literally destroy bases, they're so fun to use. It's just that they cost quite a lot of Dark Elixir to be honest, but apart from that, they're literally one of the best troops to use. So we're going to go ahead and find a base which has a lot of loot. We want to kind of challenge ourselves to see how this army can do. It is a lot of Barbarians which are going to be used as tanks. We've got the Wall Breakers of course to get inside the base. You always need something to shoot over the walls, so you either have to choose from minions, wizards or archers. I've chosen wizards because they deal the most damage. They They've got quite a lot of health as well, so they're decent. And of course, the Valkyries, because they can just tear bases apart. So let's go ahead and find a raid. Alright guys, so we've landed on this Town Hall 7. It's got 164,000 gold, 214,000 elixir, and we've got almost 500 dark elixir here. This is going to be a fantastic base. So we've got 67 Barbarians, 6 Wall Breakers, 16 beautiful little Harry Potters, 7 Valkyries, We've got the clan castle inside of there, we've got four giants and a hog, we've got the king as usual and the standard three rage spells. Everyone knows I love my rage spells. So we're going to go ahead and attack from... Let's go, where's the most mortars? Let's go from the northeast because there's a lot of mortars here. So we're going to start with the barbarians. Actually no, we're going to start with the clan castle because it's got giants inside. Follow straight in with barbarians. We're going to send them all in. Wall breakers, wall breakers, chucking a rage spell, drop in that uh, barbarian king, Ingo there, Ingo the wizards, Valks to the rescue, they've all run off there for some reason, we need them inside the base so we're going to get those wall breakers to smash down those walls, inside they go, those giants are getting taken out, they've kind of acted as a distraction, this isn't going too good I don't think. Barbarian King smashing down things as usual. Wizards behind producing some firing support. Everything to the north has been taken out. Their Barbarian King has gone as well though. Most of the loot is in our hands. We've still got 110,000 elixir on the map. And of course the Dark Elixir has been captured. We don't need to use this last rage spell I don't think. I don't think it's going to do anything. I think we will only get the two stars here. The Valkyries are going down. Barbarian King's going out of the map, not out of the map, sorry, what am I talking about? He's going out of the walls for some reason, he always does it. They don't never go where you want them to go. And the Valkyries and the Wizards are playing little girlfriend and boyfriend in the corner. Of course the Valkyrie will smash that wizard, if you know what I mean. There we go, Barbarian King smashing down that. Pretty pointless. We're going to go ahead and end it there guys, they're not going to get anything else. So we've got 161,000 gold out of that, 110,000 elixir and we managed to take all the dark elixir. Plus the loot bonus. So, I've decided to change it up a bit. We're going to use giants, wall breakers and valkyries. So we're going to see how this works out. That went pretty well considering but... It, it's, it just costs a bit too much to be able to not 3 star a Town Hall 7. You need to be able to 3 star Town Hall 7s if you're spending that much loot on your troops. So we got Giants, Valkyries, Wall Breakers. That's literally it. We're going to go ahead and create two more raid spells. Obviously they're not going to be done in time. So we are going to go ahead and find a raid straight away. We're not going to be having the Barbarian King. He's done in 10 minutes. So we're going to be back when the troops are drained. So we've trained up our troops, we've got Giants, Valkyries, Wall Breakers, that's all we're bringing this time. We've got a couple of Rage Spells I believe, we've got the Barbarian King nice and trained, he's all healthy, ready to battle again. So we're going to find a raid which has a lot of loot. We landed on the first base, this is the first base we've landed on, it has 89,000 gold, 171,000 elixir and 383 dark elixir. This is what we're after, it's simple though, it's very easy to get. Storages aren't hidden too much, so let's go ahead and take this base out. Although the storages are in the south, we're going to go ahead and attack from 
the north because that's where the mortars are all are and I want to take out the mortars so I'm going to start by sending in that one barbarian and then the giants in two sectors so we've got two lines of giants we're going to, we're going to follow in with some wall breakers in go those valkyries just behind and then the barbarian king maybe send in some more wall breakers to take out that town hall wall hopefully they reach it yep there it goes Valkyries have gone inside, tearing up the town hall now. Barbarian King, as usual, has decided to go where we don't want him to. Same with those Valkyries. These ones are tearing up the town hall, though. The mortars are all down. That's good. It's just going to be the wizard towers now we have to deal with. The Barbarian King is now going inside, so we're going to rage him up, take out that golden wall. It's not very good health. He's going to destroy that very easily. Going for that Tesla hidden inside of the little pocket there. Down goes the last wizard tower, so we've just got a few archer towers left down south and one cannon. I think that's all the defences left. This has been a very successful raid. It didn't cost too much, to be fair. The giants are relatively cheap. Wall breakers are probably the most expensive thing here. And, of course, you've got Valkyries, which cost Dark Elixir, but they're not too bad. There's 70 each. Actually, no, that is quite a lot, to be fair. That's about 600 it cost Dark Elixir with this raid, and we've only managed to pick up about 400 or something like that from the storage. This was very easy, though. Cleaning up the rest of the base. And there it goes. Oh, what's left? We've got a builder hut there and a builder hut up north as well. That's what's left. These Valkyries are as fast as hogs. This is why they are the best, funnest, and just most insane troop in this game. They literally, they're just incredible troops. Look at them go. They've got little skirts on, look. With their big axes. When you level them up to level 4 or 3. I think they get golden axes. So it looks a lot better. And there it goes. 100% perfect raid. 383 dark. Which isn't bad. So guys. I've got something special for you right now. One of my friends inside of my clan. Elijah. Shout out to him. He's allowed himself to be raided. He's given all his loot away for free. He's put his storages and his collectors on the outside of the base. I hope you enjoy it. It's just something different. Something nice to add to the end of the video. It's like a charity giveaway inside of Clash of Clans. As ever. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Share it if you can. Stay tuned for the next videos. I hope you enjoy this guys.